want to bore you for too long in the intro there of this lesson, but I'm going to go ahead and cover all the different sections in this song. Um, but I just wanted to give you a piece of it. So I did the intro, the verse, and the chorus. And then there's also going to be like an outro and um, obviously some other sections coming up. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on this. So what we want to do first and foremost is just get ready for a lot of down strums. And I'm also going to play a lot of these sections slowed down and um, just kind of uh, held back a little bit just so you guys can kind of keep up and I'm not going too fast for you. So we're also going to need to count a lot. So we've got standard tuning. So what we want to do is we're going to start out with the intro. Um, we're going to play an E minor 7. So your index finger is going to set on the 2nd fret of the A and your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D and your ring finger is going to hop down here and sit on the 3rd fret of the B. So that's, that's going to kind of live there. Your ring finger is going to kind of live there on that 3rd fret of the B. Now one important thing to know about this song is this very strum piece right here. A quick down, up, down, okay? That is like the heart of this song, I think. Okay, so just practice that a couple times. Down, up, down, really simple, right? Now, following that is the pulse of the song, which is just a series of down strums, right? So you've got down, up, down, and right into the down strums, okay? So when you're counting these down strums, it's going to be helpful, to, or it's going to be helpful to count these down strums to learn the different transitions between the different chords. For instance, when we're going from the E minor 7 to the second chord, which is C add 9, you're going to need to anticipate that switch to the C add 9 chord. So I'll show you the C add 9 chord in a second, but here's what we got. So the intro of the song, down, up, down. Now that down right there, I'm counting that as the 1. six, seven, eight. So C, we're switching to the C add nine on the eight. So ring finger stays where it is on that third fret of the B, index finger, second fret of the D, middle finger, third fret of the A, okay? So here's what we got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So what's happening there is we're anticipating that switch to the C add 9. See that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're getting there before 1. So that happens on quite a few of these, these chords throughout this um, song. There's that anticipated feel on some of these chords. So just be ready for that, okay? And also keep in mind, you've got the down, up, down that we're gonna use on a lot of these major switches too. So here's what we got. Okay, so notice we do the down, up, down to get to the G chord. Now the G I'm playing, ring finger again, it's just staying where it is on that third fret of B, index finger, second fret of A, middle finger, third fret of low E. So all these chords, I'm just letting the high E string ring open, okay? I'm not trying to do any fancy adding extra fingers or anything. And if you go look at Billy Corgan play it, this is actually how he plays it live in a couple videos that I've seen. So let's go ahead and just check out those first three chords of the intro. E minor, C add nine, and G. Okay, so that gets us all the way to the G, right? So the next chord we need to know is D sus over F sharp. So what that is, is just leaving again your ring finger there on that third fret of the B index finger, 
your middle finger comes off, index finger sets down on second fret of the low E, okay? So, this is what I like to call a walk down chord. So this is walking us back down to the E minor seven again to, to round out the intro. So here's what we've got. We're gonna go. So here's how I'm counting that. I'm gonna kind of go slow here and just count through this so you can hear how these chords are switching on the numbers. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 one, two, three, four. that kind of making sense so what's happening what I think is the hardest part about this song is staying keeping that pulse right keep that pulse but also when you get to the G staying there long enough okay so that's where you have to count and where it can get confusing because as you noticed we're going through one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five Six, seven, eight, one. So right here we've got a full count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But then we've got an additional count of four, and then another count of four on the D sus over F sharp. So once we get to the G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And notice on four I'm doing down up. Then I'm going to the D sus over F sharp. One, two, three, four. Again, on the four I'm doing the down up. Right back into the E minor seven, okay? So here's what we've got. Let's go ahead and just try playing through this slow. And I'm not gonna count along with it this time. We're just gonna play through the intro. If you've made it this far, you've pretty much learned the feel of the song, okay? For the most part, you've learned the feel and the pulse of the song. So let's go ahead and take a look at the verse now. One, two, three, four. is exactly the same as the intro for the first two lines of the verse, okay? You've got your E minor seven to C add nine to G to D sus over F sharp, all right? So that'll happen two times through with the exact same strum pattern, everything as the intro. Now, the third line, 
um, the oh he is burned line, the third line of the verse, that's where things are going to switch up just a little bit. Um, now this is just one of those fine details of the song. But what you're going to do for the third line of the verse... walk down to the D sus over F sharp is held back a little bit. So remember when we talked about you get that full eight count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then an additional four count, one, two, three, four, with the down up, and then the switch, down, 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 up. So now you're going to hold off on that switch just slightly. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. So one more time. One, two, three, four, and one, two. So you're staying on the G for one. And that's how he lines that up with the bell on that third line of each verse. So he's delaying going to the D sus over F sharp just for one beat. Okay, and that kind of creates that sort of um, held back feeling, just sort of that it rings along with the bell. So I, I noticed he only does that on the third line of each verse. Okay, so everything else is pretty much the same. So we know that the first two lines of the verse are exactly the same as the, um, as the intro. And then that third line, ooh, he is burned, has the delayed move to the D sus over F sharp, okay? But then, ooh, he is burned happens again, okay? But we have to go uh, to some different chord moves here, okay? So we're just looking, let's look at the, the fourth line of the verse, the second time he sings, oh, he is burned, um, going into the chorus. So what we've got, the last line of the verse, did on that last line of the verse were the same thing E minor to C add 9 to G but then we got to jump up to just a, a standard D sus so index finger is going to come down here to second fret of the G ring finger again just live in there third fret of B high E is open okay so we're going to go to that D sus then to C add 9 for the big build into the chorus so looking at the last line of the verse and then we'll run the whole verse so we've got when we went to the D sus that was anticipated just like the C add 9 is right um, or like the first C add 9 you play how we anticipate we get to that on 8 same thing on the D sus so we had So I believe that's just two full eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that, I like to do a big strum there to get into the chorus. All right, so let's go ahead and play through the entire verse. We should have the pieces of the puzzle to cover the verses now. So remember the first two lines of the verse are just the same as the intro. And the third line has the delayed move to the to the D sus over F sharp. And then the very last line of the verse, we've got 
we've got to go up to that D sus and that D sus is anticipated much like the C add nine is in the intro and the first couple lines of the verse. So let's go ahead and try the verse. One, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and walk through the chorus now. Now, we've got a lot of the hard stuff out of the way, okay? And you've got to use your ears because we've always got those, we got those down, up, down strums that are kind of key switch points here and there. And then we've got the anticipated chords. So you should be able to listen for those now. So check this out. I'll play through the chorus. We're going to start on C add nine, all right? So this is coming out of that big C add nine build out of the verse. So here's what we got. with me on that okay so it's pretty much the same techniques being applied to the chorus you've got your down up downs and then you've got your anticipated D you got your anticipated move on the eighth strum to the D sus right but at the end we do have a little thing where we go E minor 7 Okay, so those of you that have this down, go back to the intro now and practice along with me on those parts. All right, so let's go ahead now and take a look at the outro. We have all the pieces of the puzzle to play the verse and the chorus, okay? So you just have to use your ears when you play along, and we'll do a, play, we'll do a complete playthrough at the end here. So just looking at the outro though, um, if you look at the last line of the chorus, I send this smile over to you. Um, and then the first line of the outro is the killer in me is the killer in you. Okay, so this is sort of the essence of the outro. Now here's, I'll play through the outro, then I'll explain what's going on. So we've got...
Okay, so that's the entire outro. So what's happening is we're, um, instead of doing the big down, up, down on the E minor seven, we're doing the big down, up, down on the D sus, okay? And then the E minor seven is anticipated on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight. You have all the pieces to the puzzle. You understand that the C add nine is anticipated. You understand the importance of the big down, down strum on certain chords to um, get into those big changes. And you also understand that the D sus over F sharp is held back on that third line of each verse. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of little things to remember. I just wanted to do a playthrough at a slow speed for you guys so that you can have something to practice along with. And um, just for the purposes of this, I'm gonna keep it slow. And what I want you to do after you build up the speed is go practice along um, with the track to, to get up to the actual, the actual tempo of the song. So let's go ahead, we're gonna practice it slow. We're going to start on the intro and just go through the whole thing. So we've got intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, outro. So let's go ahead and give it a try. One, two, three, four.
really hope that this video was helpful for you. Again, I know it's it's tough. It's hard to explain this just note for note the whole time. So that's why I was trying to give you the pieces of the puzzle and you can piece it all together. But that should give you all the tools that you need to play this. So again, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button and I will catch you on the next video.